I think I'm going to teach people the I Ching when I get back. I know there's like two people that watch this channel, but I, I want to. I trust the I Ching, the I Ching's advice more than I would trust any friend's advice. And that's like huge, that's enormous. You know, when I realized that, that I would rather consult the I Ching than consult a friend. And it's not like it's a replacement for um, other people who live in this real world setting, but there is some magic to it, that's for sure. Like, the, I don't even mean that it's some kind of multi-dimensional, spiritual, magic kind of thing, even though I do feel something like that. Logically, it should not work. But for some reason, it always does. You know, even at 40, I'm, I'm really young. I'm only old compared to the, the really young. Does that make sense? Like, in, in the millennia of the world, I am such a tiny little baby because I only know these 40 years. I only know 40 years. I don't know the millennia that I may have lived before or I may not have. Like, I don't know all the wisdom prior to that. So I'm still this um, human trying to figure out life. So I'm always learning and I'm always improving. And I look at um, the I Ching as so in alignment to my philosophies before everything that maybe it's uh, so much in alignment with me because it matches how I feel inside like it makes it matches my how I think the world should be in a, a lot of ways but there was a few different things that it pulled my pulled my head in about so now that I've got this tool that I never in a million years would have expected would would help me I uh, I thought it was going to be just a bit of fun I never thought that it would help me as much as it has, but it has helped me so much. I can't believe how much it's helped me. And it's because I, at some, you know, at some stage I, I switched to trusting it. It was because of what it was saying to me, but I was like, how, how are you so accurate? How? This is weird. <laughs> I'm blown away. And then when I was like, well, uh, ask it, because you can ask anything, right? And it's just me. So I didn't have to justify it to anyone else or say publicly to anyone else what I'm asking it, you know? And so I could ask it just the most craziest things and it would pull me back into line. And I was like, wow, this is so weird. It's like having a, a live conversation with a, a wise guy. I feel badly for asking these questions now because I feel like, oh my God, something's, something's really answering me here. Oops, <laughs> it's not just me. But um, I do think it is me, but it's just that, that aspect of me that I don't understand because you know, from this human perspective. Like there's something, it's this life. There's something about this life that I don't understand. I think that we as humans like try and make sense of this um, stuff that doesn't make sense by labeling them with things like spirit guides and angels and uh, soul groups and all that kind of stuff. I think we try and give them labels, but I think it is all part of the same thing. We just don't have the right, we don't have the words for it. 